Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Inês, I'm an artist and illustrator and today's video is part 5 of my Drawing Mythical Creatures series. Today I'm gonna draw mermaids. Mermaids possibly might be the most well-known mythical creature that exists because they have been popularized in media and film, animation with Little Mermaid for instance and they've been part of our culture for many 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 years. To give you a backstory on mermaids, basically mermaids in folklore are an aquatic creature that has the upper body and head of a human, generally a female, and the lower body of a fish. Mermaids appear in so many different cultures uh, worldwide including Europe, Asia and Africa. The concept of mermaids in the West actually may have been influenced by the sirens of the Greek mythology, even though sirens in the beginning were depicted as half bird, half human. Actually, during the Christian era, they changed to half human, half fish. So historical accounts of mermaids, uh, including reports from Christopher Columbus when he was exploring the Caribbean Sea, actually may have been sightings of manatees. Sexy, right? I know. Uh, they are super similar to the actual mermaids. However, while there is no evidence that mermaids exist outside of folklore, there are still reports of sightings to this day. And so, because they are such beloved creatures and they've been part of our culture for so many centuries, I decided to give it a shot and draw. Actually, it's one of the, the mythical creatures that I might have drawn more in my life, very influenced by Disney's Little Mermaid. So what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna sketch some different types of mermaids in, with different positions, different poses, explore the creature a little bit, and then pick one of the sketches and finish it in digital painting. And so if you are interested to see how I draw mermaids, please keep watching the video. I started by drawing the action of the pose. I knew I wanted to do a dynamic pose and make use of the hair to create movement. I tried to create simpler shapes to create movement without excessive detail. It is something that I'm currently working on trying to create movement and expressive shapes without excessive details. It has been a challenge, but I think it's been paying off lately. It's a great synthesis exercise to understand what's essential in a drawing. I tried to play with different poses that would represent different feelings and events. In this one I wanted to play with the form of the hair, when it's underwater and the fact it's so difficult to tame and control. I think the overall sketch really embodies like how difficult it can be to control and I thought it would be funny to explore this idea and I think it worked in the end. I was quite indecisive with what to do with this pose and ended up changing it several times. That's why we sketch in the first place. To try different things and explore ideas. Mermaids are my comfort zone in terms of drawing. What I mean is that when I don't know what to draw, usually it will be either mermaids or eyes, like human eyes. The next pose is a majestic one. I wanted to show confidence through this sketch 
being secure in oneself and being ready to take on life and be your own superhero. I tried to make the hair the centerpiece that would function almost as a cape as well. I went back and forth with the details and hand positions. I used my own hands as a way to study how they would look. It's a great way to use your own body as a reference. I mean, it's, it's there, you have access to it, and you can control it and put it in the position that you want. So I think it's super helpful to do that. Then I moved to the next pose, that is obviously heavily inspired by Ariel from Little Mermaid. I just love that character so much, and it's such an inspiration. Again, the hair form was the centerpiece in this sketching exercise. I really wanted simple shapes to express movement. Then I tried something a bit different, where the mermaid would have tentacles as hair. It's an idea that I've explored a few times before and I just like to revisit it from time to time. It was super fun to explore and change the type of character as well. I finish with a tiny sketch that was simple, but embodied the simpler shapes I wanted to achieve. This is the final result of the sketchbook spread. I really liked how it looks, and I think it has a wide range of poses. It shows different types of personalities, and it was super fun to do. Then I chose a sketch to finish in Procreate. I decided to do the majestic pose because I thought it would work well as a painting. And actually I'm super proud of the final result. It was super fun to do, um, trying to block the colors and choosing the colors overall. It was not easy at first, but it was quite a good challenge for me. And trying again to simplify the shapes and even the painting process. So it was quite interesting for me and I really, really enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed the process. This is the final spread of the sketching part of the, the process that I did. And I actually like this spread very much. I think I got to explore different types of positions and poses. It was super fun to do. To be fair, like drawing mermaids for me, it's like super fun. Uh, it's something that I go to regularly. It's almost a comfort zone for me. And this is the final result of the digital painting. It was a, a bliss to do, the, to do this. Like, um, I really love uh, creatures like uh, mermaids. And I, was, I am heavily influenced by Little Mermaid, obviously, and because I grew up with it, it was one of my favorite movies and the legends and mythology and that are associated with this creature. I just find it super interesting and romantic and tragic at, at the same time. 
so for me it's one of my favorite creatures of all time. Actually, let me know your favorite uh, mythical creature and if it's something that I haven't drawn yet, I maybe I will do it next, next month. Because as I said, this is a monthly series and I will be doing this like every month. So if you have any suggestions, they are more than welcome and I will be sure to actually draw those creatures for you as well. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next week with another video. Bye!